Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the 88 Virago. I'm going to show you how I sink the carbs on this bike using a, a tool that I made and hopefully get in a little seat time on it. The weather's looking great today. It's been raining quite a bit lately, but everything's dried up and it's pretty nice out. So hopefully get this thing out for a ride after a bit. But first we need to get working on these. Now before I get started working on this bike, make sure you go down, subscribe to the channel to follow along for any of my how-tos like sinking carbs on this bike or any of my other projects. You see the Ranger behind me. I also have the F100 back there. And actually if you want to see more of the F100, go down and leave a comment. Let me know you want to see that thing. Uh, it's a work in progress for sure, but I could do a quick walk around of it. Now the tool that I use to sink the carbs on my bike is actually something I made myself quite a while back. It's very inexpensive to make. You can make it yourself if you have access to a few feet of any type of fuel line and a couple sports drink bottles. Now the reason I like to use sports drink bottles is because you get the larger lids on it, which makes it easier. You need to drill two holes in each lid the right size, if anything, may be a little undersized for the hose that you're using, so it creates a nice seal. You can see these I actually never even sealed in here. They're just a friction fit, and you can see there where it pinches it a little bit creates that nice seal. And really all you're going to need to do to make this is have two longer hoses and one shorter hose. Now you can kind of see the setup here. The longer hoses go straight into the top of the bottle, really not much further down than where the cap is, and the one shorter hose actually transfers between the two down into the fluid. Now in this case, I just use water in these things. Um, you can add some food coloring if you want or any other type of fluid that you have handy. So to make this really, all you need to do is get your two bottles, whatever they may be, like I said, something with a larger cap that you can drill these two holes in. Slide the smaller hose all the way down to the bottom of it. And the larger hoses just go straight in the top. Like I said, not much further than where the cap is, but the main thing is, is you want plenty of room between your fluid and that hose so you don't suck any up into the bike. So once you get this put together, like I said, you just want to fill it with some fluid, in my case just some water, uh, add food coloring, whatever you want to make it uh, a little more visible, and hook it up to the bike. So what you're going to be watching for with this tool is the level of fluid between the two bottles. So as the bike is running with these hooked up, what you're going to see is if your carbs are out of sync, you're going to see one start coming up and one start going down. And what you want to do is try and adjust to where these two will balance out and stay the same. And all you're doing is measuring between these two the pressure difference inside the parts of the bottle that aren't filled with fluid. That's why it is pretty critical that you make sure that these seal up well when you drill the holes. If you go a little undersized for the tube and force the tube in there, that makes a pretty good seal. And I can give you an example here of the difference. Now you can see there where this bottle emptied, this bottle filled, and if I do the opposite here, and and that's all it does is the higher the vacuum on one side or the other, it transfers fluid through your one longer hose into the other bottle because of the pressure difference, and that's all you're looking for is. All right, so. Obviously, I've done a little bit of work here. I got the tank pulled off. I got all my intake boots and everything torn off. Pretty basic stuff uh, to get in here and do some maintenance on this thing. Uh, as far as sinking the carbs go, really only a couple tools you need. Obviously, your homemade tool there. Uh, but otherwise, the way I like to do it is a long extension, a swivel, and a seven millimeter socket. Uh, ratchet just in case a lot of times you can adjust this just by hand that's why I like to use the long extension and 
a pocket screwdriver and the reason I use the pocket screwdriver is for adjusting the mixture screws on the carbs. Now on mine, they're right back here at the back of the carb, uh, pretty easy to get to with the tank out of the way. So first thing I'm going to do is balance the carbs in and I'll bring you in a little closer for that one. The screw you're trying to get to is that little guy right in the center of the screen. You can use a straight edge screwdriver if you can get one back in there, but I find it easier to use the extension and swivel, and I'll show you how I do it. This can be a little tricky to get in here, but as you can see, I got the extension fished between the cylinder and this oil tube. Then the extension allows you to turn the corner and get to the screw right there, and then all it is is just a little bit of turning one way or the other. Like I said, if you need to use a ratchet, that works, but a lot of times you can just do it by hand. I let the bike warm up for a while. I got my tool hooked up and we'll bring you in here and let you see how this works while I adjust it. already see this one going down, this one coming up. That's really all it takes, just a few seconds there twisting that screw, just back and forth, small adjustments is all it takes. Uh, you'll start turning it one way, you'll think you got it pretty good and you'll realize that it just keeps going and going. So you want to just real small back and forth until it balances out and stays there. So that's pretty good. I'm going to set the mixture screws now and put it back together. We should be about ready to ride. Don't forget to take that out. Now that we got this thing dialed in, let's say we take it for a ride.
on the bike, quick ride, nice to get it out. Unfortunately, there towards the end, it started breaking up on me. I think I need to throw a new set of plugs in this thing. It was just running rich for quite a while. I just got the carbs rebuilt. Unfortunately, I have a feeling that's the case. So I'm gonna get some plugs pulled out of this thing. I'm gonna try and get out of here and go for a little more of a ride, but that should do it for this video. If you made it this far, definitely go down, give the video a like, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to follow along for more bike content, any of my other projects here, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.